Here is some special insights on a split test done with this advanced fish and kelp emulsion. It's done on some flower stocks by the very famous Gerard Oldfield. Now he's been growing cut flowers for over 40 years and at the Royal Sydney Easter Show, he's been awarded most successful exhibitor horticulture over 15 times. You'll feel Gerard's excitement as he reports faster growth, more robust stems and foliage and better quality plant all around. As we give you a walkthrough, Gerard's yard of flower stocks. He'll explain that he's left off this last two foot without the emulsion. And he's applied it to all the other part of his yard. You'll see that this part here is not much flowered at all and it's fairly short. Compared to this row where it's fully flowered and much taller. This row is about 60% flowered, much taller and overall healthy and more robust. The distinct difference where I haven't sprayed you can pick the growth miles in front quality and advance blind freddy can see and see the difference between extremely good I think the proof's in the pudding we're just catching up with jared oldfield a, a champion uh, flower grower we're growing stocks for the for the local cut flower industry the local florists i've been uh, using the uh, unknown growth factor this year i've used it extensively as a standalone, and I'm, I'm enjoying the results I'm seeing. Uh, we've we've set up a bit of a, an experimental bed. If you don't mind getting his feet muddy, Rightio. If he goes to the other end of the bed, you can see the ex the distinct difference where I haven't sprayed. It's more more prevalent here, and these were all planted the same day, same time. So you're talking about these ones on the very end here, yes, Jerry? Yes, I don't. I haven't sprayed down here. Right. So. It's just the last two feet of this bed that you haven't sprayed with the unknown growth factor. I haven't sprayed the factor. last two feet of that one or the last couple of feet there. Okay, so these three beds, the last two feet has not been sprayed with the special unknown growth factor fish emulsion. But yet if you go just a couple of feet this way, if you can see it, all of a sudden it's quite a, uh, a large difference in height, isn't it? So, uh, well, uh, well, quality too. Quality and advancement of, um, of growth, they're, they're just miles in front. Yeah. And th these have only had two applications uh, fairly late. You can, you can see a little bit further over, there's some, uh, there's some later ones. And again, I've, I've stopped spraying part of the way down and you can, you can pick the growth. Yeah, absolutely. It's uh, quite obvious on this. Uh, these last two feet are a lot lower than uh, the rest of the bed. Yeah, oh, the, the quality of the plants are just not as good. In a nutshell, we've got some that's just barely got the buds of the flowers on. Yeah, and yeah. Oh, just, they're, they're, they're six inches shorter. And just two feet away where it's had the emulsion, it's, uh, the flowers are obvious, buds are bigger, stalks are uh, much taller and it's an all around healthier looking plant. You'll see when we go around the back, there's a, a piece we planted out with this variety where we haven't, and, and they're remarkably behind these ones here too. These are out of the very same batch as the, the apricot uh, double delight stocks you've seen out the front, but I haven't used the growth factor on these hundred odd plants here, and it is quite obvious they are they're behind the other ones. Uh, they're certainly not as, as strong or as vigorous as the other one. Nothing like the the growth habit of the yeah. the ones that we've. So they're obviously budding, but n none have flowered like the other portion. No, and, they're just they're just starting to come into bud. And your lovely wife Alwyn was saying that uh, she felt that the, uh, the stalks and the, the strength of these ones weren't as. Oh, as oh well, well, look, you you know, um, blind Freddie can see <laughs> see the difference. Between. Like when you're selling to florists, they want something that stands up here. They want length and they want strength and they want size. And, and all around health. Well, you put as much work into growing rubbish as you do to grow good stuff. And if you can find a means to grow better stuff, then you use it. Not Well, I think the proof's in the pudding. A few weeks after the last video, it's now early November. We're just looking at some mature flower stocks. Uh, this, is the, this is the second crop we've run this year. The, 
you can see over the in the background the the remains of the last crop that um, that that come extremely well. We we did quite well out of these. These have come there. They're nice and tall and and fairly strong. Again, how many applications of the unknown growth factor? Two. Two. So we know, say, this big and then we know that big, perhaps? Ah, uh, yes, yeah. And obviously yeah. you've seen the better growth, you've seen the better flower and the faster growth and earlier growth. Compared, yeah. you compared to your trial section down behind Oh, this. yeah, well, well, that was that was quite remarkable, the difference over in that bottom. So there's a bit more growth and a bit more height in these than, than the first lot. And I, yeah, sure. I was very happy with the first lot. And if anyone out there wants, uh, wants some stocks of dahlias, Jerry's one of your, your experts in New South Wales. Dahlias especially, um, and, and a lot of other plants and products I've got contacts. On. This has been extremely good. We hope you enjoyed these special insights to do with the split test of the unknown growth factor. Please like the video below, subscribe, ideally give us a comment, let's engage in some conversation and happily share it with other people.